Hey, what's up guys? It's Kendall with another tutorial and today we're going to be learning how to edit underwater GoPro photos. So here's the photo that I'm going to be editing and this is pre-edit. Here's the photo post-edit. And I really wanted to create something that was a little different, a little mysterious, a little darker. Um, so this is kind of what I came up with uh, from this photo here. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I started out by bringing down the temperature a little bit by about 10 just to give us a little bit more blue in there and then I came over to exposure and dropped it down again by about negative 0.35 then I bumped up the contrast by about 47 then I pushed up my highlights uh, around 17, let's put it about there. Left my shadows alone, might come back a little bit later and mess with those, but then I uh, hold Alt, grab my whites, bring them up until they start to come in, and then back it off until they're out again. Same with the blacks, except when you do blacks, you want to have a little more black in there, especially if you want contrast. So it's definitely a little darker than I would like, but we're going to be fixing that in a little bit. So I came over to Clarity, put it up to about 30. I actually dropped down my vibrance. So I really like this look of kind of getting a grayish blue. So I dropped my, my uh, vibrance by about 50, around there, and actually bumped up my saturation a little bit. Now, this is one of my favorite effects to use on underwater photos. Um, I actually brought up the top of my tone curve a little bit as if I was going to do an S curve. But then I created a J curve. And it really softens up those really dark blacks that were on my face and down here. And I really like that look right there. Then I looked at the photo and saw a little bit too much aqua for my liking, so I kind of brought it out a little bit. Dropped down the aqua there with the HSL saturation. For those of you that don't know, the HSL saturation basically can just bring out the saturation of a specific color or it can saturate it more. And I'm going to bring down my blues a little bit. That's too much. But 15 uh, to kind of keep that gray look. And then I'm going to come down to split toning and you can either pull your hue over to the blue and then adjust your saturation or you can just select blue. I like to just do this one, it's easier for me. And then just bring down my saturation to where I want it, which is going to be around 15, 16, right around there. I'm going to do the same with my shadows but this time I'm going to drop it even more down so about five now we're definitely getting closer to the look that we want just a few things we want to touch up I'm gonna put my noise at reduction nine or ten just to get rid of some of the noise down here in the darker spots now what I'm gonna do is I really want to darken up the down here so I'm gonna create a mask drop the saturation a little bit and throw that down here just to kind of make it darker here at the bottom of the photo because we know the light's coming from up here and I kind of like that we've got it darker down here light coming in from up top and that kind of matches here with the light rays we can tell the sun's over here somewhere and we can see these these light rays coming through and I think that's about good if you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something, please make sure to like it. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please make sure to leave those in the comments below. Also, as always, please make sure to subscribe and enjoy editing your underwater GoPro photos.